it's Serena from First of All Things and today I'm doing a shoe unboxing with a little bit of a twist because um, unfortunately although I love these shoes to no end they are a sample from a um, shoe and I do have to send them back after I've styled them and everything for you but I am definitely definitely 100% buying these for myself when I next get paid because I absolutely just love them to bits. Um, now sorry about the weird background today. Um, I, as usual I would have filmed in my bedroom but the house directly opposite my um, bedroom is having their roof redone and there's a lot of scaffolding and a lot of builders there and it would have been very obvious that I was sat talking to myself and I just felt a little bit uncomfortable about that so I thought I'd move it downstairs and sit um, in my front room because this is kind of the only white space that I have to work with and um, I'm going to show you the shoes and talk about them and how much I love them and then I'm going to do a little bit of a styling, how, what I'd wear with them um, and show you a bit more close up of the shoes and um, I'm very sorry about how that may look because in my house there is literally nowhere for me to do kind of full length shots or proper outfitty posts and um, again it will be perfect to do it in my garden but my garden is very um, open to all the houses around me um, all the fences are very low so um, it's a little bit awkward to do that um, so you're gonna have to work with me in the hallway that sounds weird um, but yeah without any further ado let's show you the awesome shoes so I have them here in this box and they are from shoe and their shoes own brand and these are amazingly amazingly priced um, especially that I think so anyway because they're only 28 pounds um, now I went into shoe when I was in Manchester the other day and I first saw these shoes in the silver um, the silver colour and I just saw them and I thought, oh my god, I need those in my life. And I tried them on and they were a six um, on the stand. So I tried them on because I'm a six in everything. And they were a little bit too short. So then I thought, oh, I'll try on the colour next to it, which was lilac, which was a size seven. They fit perfectly. I looked in the mirror and I thought, I like these lilac ones even more. So here they are. And hopefully it shows up. But these are completely like holographic and just... I don't know if it's going to show the justice of this. If you, I'll leave a link to the shop below, and they have um, a catwalk kind of thing where the pictures are of these shoes. If you watch that catwalk, you'll see how amazingly just shiny these are, and in person they're just incredible. Um, so they are a platform like um, my um, Max Star shoes, maybe a little bit smaller than those, um, and then they're just kind of like a lace-up shoe and they're just a lilac colour and absolutely beautiful kind of petroly colours that just rainbow and they're just oh, amazing um, and then they just lace up and I think these would look really cute if I changed the lace for kind of like a light purple ribbon I think that would look so cute and um, I just I just love these so much and I really wish that they were showing up even better I mean you can kind of see there they're just very very sparkly which is exactly what I look for in everything in my life so I'm gonna put them on now and I'm gonna do a little bit of a styling video um, obviously I'm not very fashionable or anything so this is just what I would wear them with um, and then I'm gonna buy my own and just love them for the rest of my life so let's go also, a quick note before I start this, this um, video, I am aware that each shoe is laced differently um, and I only just realised that while fastening them, um, but I thought I'd just leave it because it just shows you two different ways you can lace shoes, which everybody knows anyway, but also I am too lazy to unlace and relace, so we'll just ignore that and focus on the shiny shiny.
guys that I would wear these. Um, I know it's not anything spectacular because I'm not very good at fashion videos. Um, and also, my camera doesn't start, doesn't zoom out as far as um, most cameras for some reason. Um, so when I get my new camera, I should be able to do better full length um, shots because believe it or not, when I was filming that, my camera was so far away from me, I couldn't believe that it wasn't like a full length. But you know, we've got to work with these things. Um, so I do still have the, the shoes on. Um, <laughs> because I don't want to take them off because they're so shiny. And I really like them with um, the ruffly socks and the rolled up um, disco pants. I just think they look really cute. Um, so they do do... They do do. They do silver ones, um, these lilac ones, and they also do a black one, which is really cool. It's kind of like um, black, and then as you move it, it's kind of like a dark um, diesel effect. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, duo chromey. Um, so I'll leave a link to all three below, but lilac is my favourite. And um, for 28 quid, I think that's a really decent price. And I will be buying some myself um, when I get back from Spain and then just wearing them everywhere. Um, they're really, really comfortable and easy to walk in. They're not like platformy or anything. They are literally just like wearing trainers. Um, what else can I say? Mm, I would recommend buying them from a store rather than online because, like I said, I am always a six. But when I tried on the six, they were too small. Um, so definitely, um, if you are usually always one size, either size up or go into store and try them on first because, um, then you don't have to send them back and everything and all that. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you think of the shoes below because hopefully you all love them as much as I do. Um, let me know if you have any video requests. And don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel because I will be doing Spain vlogs while I'm in Spain. They won't be going up as I'm in Spain because obviously I'm staying in a hostel and I'm not taking my laptop so I can't edit and upload because there'll be no Wi-Fi. So um, I will upload them when I get back kind of like as the days, like day one, day two, like you would expect. Um, and um, let me know if you have any other requests. Um, at the moment I have gradient nails on so if you would like a tutorial on how to do gradient nails then let me know because I would love to do that as well um I'm just babbling now so I'm gonna go and I've just realized I'm not wearing any glasses which is probably why I can't see very well I have so much stuff to do today you would not believe how much clothing there is in this front room for packing um so I will see you in my next video um toodaloo Okay, that's not in the right place. Ah. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I just have a feeling that this video was really crap and I couldn't see the screen because I don't have any glasses on, which probably would have helped, but I really don't want to refilm the whole thing now. So I'm going to go and edit it and realise that I hate all the pieces and oh, they're so shiny. I've just finished drying it, which is why it looks so horrible today, because it's on that first day, like, meh, stage. Um, I really should just lean up and press the stop button. Uh, goodbye.